Good morning everybody, this is Stephen Pugh of the Home Bible College. It's July the 3rd and we're in this wonderful passage of Romans chapter 8. And my password comes from the first sentence. Therefore, there is therefore now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. And we need to... <coughs> We need to let that <coughs> excuse me. We need to let that sink down into our hearts. You see, because of previous passages, we discover now, when we get to chapter eight, that there is no condemnation to them that are in Christ Jesus. In earlier passages the Apostle Paul had explained that all men and women were under the condemnation of God. And that condemnation of God was because of their sin, because they're human beings, because they just do not do that which is right in the eyes of the Lord. He's convicted the um, heathen. He's convicted the religious man. He's convicted the educated man. All men are in the same position. All men sin against the Lord. But he's also explained another thing, a wonderful thing. He's explained that those who believe in the Lord Jesus Christ as their saviour, God declares them to be not guilty. Now, if a person that's a believer is not guilty, then who is going to condemn them? Well, not God. God is the one who declares them to be not guilty. And so, therefore, we have this wonderful concept. It's the concept of justification by faith and those that are justified they find that there is no condemnation got that god does not condemn those that are justified for sin how could he he's the one who has declared them to be righteous to be righteous now this is my thought for the day it's something i'm going to take with me all through the day is this wonderful truth that there is no condemnation to those that are in Christ Jesus. Wow. Well, there we are. There's my thought for the day. There's my password. And look forward to talking to you again tomorrow. Bye for now.